NASA researchers have made major progress when it comes to 3D printing organs in space. Turns out it may actually be easier to 3D print organs in space than it is on Earth. Also, reading about this gave me a mild existential crisis, and we'll talk about it. First off, it's not that hard to print cartilage. That can be done. You can print an ear. That is possible. Also, I have cadaver tissue in my hip, and I would have preferred they just 3D printed me some. I mean, there might be more risks, maybe less, but I'm walking around with some guy. Aside the point, you actually can print a tiny heart, even make one that beats. One of the big issues is that making something that is vascular is a problem because on Earth, gravity kind of destroys the developing blood vessels. We are talking small vessels around the size of a human hair. There's been some progress. What you're looking at here are actually blood vessels, a circulatory system made by a 3D printer designed to mimic what our own should look like. Since 3D printing does not actually happen in a body, Turns out it's much easier to do in space. What you're looking at here is actually a biofabricated organ, a meniscus, in space. Not exactly a kidney, but progress is being made. Yes, there is an entire facility on the International Space Station just for 3D printing organs in zero gravity. You may ask, what is the ultimate goal of this research? Are we going to be 3D printing organs in space to bring back to Earth so that people can have new hearts or lungs? Probably not, at least not yet. Right now, they are making models for astronauts that can be tested in space to see how people would react to things like zero gravity and radiation that is lobbed at them from space. Now, you might ask incorrectly, but GT, what about this would give you an existential crisis? You talk about tiny human brains running video games for fun. It has to do with this article. Woman was given 3D printed windpipe in a world first. Now, I don't know if you've ever taken a bioethics class, but you might want to know that's not a world first. No, there is a doctor who was biofabricating windpipes for quite some time. Around 2014, he ultimately went to jail because he faked the entire thing. He basically put plastic in people's throats and said that stem cells would grow on it. It didn't work out very well. A lot of people did not make it. It was awful. That man's name was Paolo Maccarini. At the bottom of that article, they mention a doctor by the name of Paolo Andre Marino, who's working on biofabricating organs and dracheas, and it shorted out my brain. Uh, this is, we're talking 2019 when he started working on this stuff versus 2014 when Paolo Maccarini went to jail. If you're working on 3D printed dracheas and your name is Paolo M, I, I think there might be some mistaken identities. There, either way, seeing Paulo M attached to that just tickled my brain in just the wrong way, because I do know they let Paulo Macarini back to work in medicine. That's like, your name is Jeff Donner, and you're going to open up a butcher shop, or Sweeney Tad, and you decided to open up a pie shop. It's a little weird. It's, it's weird, and I can't imagine that hasn't come up before. I'm sorry. I'm sure Paulo Marino is a wonderful person, but it, it got to me. I almost emailed him to ask if that's ever come up before, and I decided against it. But yeah, 3D printed windpipes, that is actually a thing, and a real thing this time, it seems. We'll see. That entire field has been poisoned, much like stem cells ended up being put back about 10 years after the big incident. Oh, you don't know about the stem cell fraud? The scam that ended up resulting in at least one person losing their life. It wasn't because of medical malpractice, but it's also something you learn about when you take bioethics. You don't fake your research or sometimes bad things will happen. Very bad things. While making mini astronauts is probably not going to help very many people, unless, you know, you're an astronaut, I do have some good news. The first human trial using mini livers has moved forward. If you've ever watched Grey's Anatomy, you probably already know about this, but you can grow tiny livers in lymph nodes from stem cells, and apparently it, it, it worked in mice and it might work in people. Yes, medicine and especially biotechnology is wild, and I'll keep bringing you news, so follow and like if you want to see more of this. Of course, I will tell you about it whether you like it or not. I'm pretty hard to avoid.